I'm from Southeast Baltimore. I wouldn't say it's the most friendly places to grow up at, but it taught me a lot of different things about life, survival. You know, it made me strong. You know, I had a lot of ups and downs, but it made me become the person that I am. I used to um, write poems when I was younger. That was one of the ways actually that introduced me to doing hip hop music. I started off writing poems and I was just like the, just playing with words and expressing myself through my pen. So I started doing that and uh, around like in, I'm gonna say like eighth grade, no, like seventh grade is when I really started writing rap music. One of the artists that I looked up to was Tupac, of course, I'm a 80s baby, so I grew up in like that middle 90s, that golden era of hip hop, so Tupac was a, a poet. He liked to write poetry as well. When I found out that he did it, made me want to do it. Before I even um, really was old enough to really know what he was saying as far as his music wise, but as far as his poetry, as far as his poems that he wrote, it um, touched me a lot, like the rose that grew from a concrete. That song actually started from a poem. So that helped me like want to express my feelings. But actually I wanted to do it for a career since I was young. Like since I was a kid, I um, used to like watch music videos or um, the box and on um, the old MTV networks. And I just was a big fan. We used to watch 106 in Park and in the basement. And I just used to be in the mirror rapping songs and just think that I was an artist. So I just wanted to be that. Like, I, w I didn't really want to play basketball or football. I always wanted to be a rapper. So it was like a dream for me to do it. And then when I was able to actually do it, when I got right, like 17, I started actually going into a, well, it wasn't really a booth. It was like my homeboy closet. When I was able to move that crowd and I had my first crowd that was like 400 people when I opened up for Big Daddy Kane. He's like a legendary hip hop artist. So when I was able to move his crowd and I got his supporters to, to rock out to my music, it just was like, yeah, that's what I need to do. Like, I know I can do this. During that COVID, mostly everything was shut down. So couldn't do music mostly at all. Um, I just had a baby, so I didn't want to take a risk and go to the studio or do shows and be on the same microphone and take the risk of just bringing it home to infants. So I just was like in the house. <laughs> like I didn't move, I didn't do much. But while I was um, in the house, I was shopping for um, beats and linking up with different producers and just trying to get the other side of the, you know, music for us, like shopping. Um, putting my ideas, my strategies together, you know, brainstorming. I feel like I've reached every level in Baltimore that I can get to. So I feel like it's just time for, for the empire to expand. Once you reach the level where you touched every venue from Ram's Head to Soundstage, all the hole in the walls, all the bar lounges, I didn't even perform at the Hard Rock Cafe. Like, I didn't touch every spot that I can in Baltimore. So it's just time for me to spread out because I feel like it's not a connect here to get to the next level.